put it back. We don't need it. But red. N O spells no. You heard me. I love green. Was it? Really? So you know how we've been neighbours for a long time. I'm always doing great neighbourly things for each other. Like that time we threw your ball back over the fence when you were mm-hmm. Anyway, we're popping out on holiday for the weekend. Social services are snipping right up our business ever since that old skank across the road snitched on us. You know, when we left Georgia and went on Vicky's ending. Right, she had the dog with her. And anyway, it's not like they're going to let a six year old into the nightclub, are they? So basically, can you take a camping with me? I, I, I don't know if there's room for anymore. Plus, I'm not sure if she'd get along all that well with the kids. I've barely managed to get them in line as it is. I don't need anything that might be a bad influence on them. Are you saying, oh, Georgia can't have row your kids because she's a bad influence? You think you're better than us? She's a little angel, aren't you, though? Stop saying that. I'm not your little girl. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm sure she's great. <laughs> Our girls are pride and joy, you know. You don't take her with you, and she's going to get taken into a new home and she won't get to see her family ever again. It'll be all your fault. <coughs> Fine. She can come. Oh, that's lovely of you, babes. Right, then, um, we best be off. See you later, Gorge. We'll be back soon. If anything happens to my angel while you're gone, you're going to regret it, yeah? I'll take good care of her. Looks like we're going to have one more happy camper with us this weekend. No, we're not. Red, she's just a kid. We can't leave her here. Fine, she can come along if she can catch her up. So, Georgia, let's put the radio on, shall we? What kind of music do you like? I don't know. Anything, I guess. Okie dokie then. Let's see what's on. I tell you, we're going to have so much fun on this trip. It's been such a long time since the kids had new friends. I think it'd be good for them to have someone new around. Oh, you'll all be the best of friends by the end of this. I just know it. Yeah, sure. Tell me, do you have any camping stuff with you? Clothes, toothbrushes, walking boots? No, not really. My parents don't get me anything like that, and it's not like I even knew where I was going this weekend. No worries. Let's see, there's a shop at the next exit. We can go in and grab you some essentials. No, it doesn't matter. We won't be there for long anyway. Honestly, it's no bother. We can't have you going without. Let's just grab you some spare I don't want anything. I can survive on my own. Okay. We'll see if you can borrow anything from the kids then instead. Maybe that's enough music. <laughs> this is lovely, isn't it? I wonder what the others are doing right now. I bet they're having so much fun, bonding together. Indigo, I swear, if you give White one more existential crisis, I will swerve this car. It's true, though. What's the point in making a car to someone when we're all gonna die one day anyway? I say cut to the chase and just miss out the boring stuff. I'm making it because it's not really. Exactly. Now shut up. So we're not allowed to voice our opinions in this family? What happened to freedom of speech? This is discrimination! Discrimination against who? Me! Yeah, sure. Um, what is it you have to be discriminated against for? <laughs> Brain, what are you doing? Me. I'm just fine. What's it? Get down from there. Why? I'm happy. To be honest, Rad, this one's kind of on you. He's been up there for ages and you've not even noticed. Don't. Free 
Green? No. Green? No. One. Two. Just got a text from Black. What? Why didn't she text me? I think she's worried. She says they're talking about replacing you in the other car. No, they're not. Blue, Blue will never replace me. You didn't know? When a new kid joins the family, the youngest gets thrown out. Why do you think you never met Violet? That's not true. Blue came after me and no one got kicked out. That's because she's not a kid. She's a mum, so it doesn't count. Stop it, in the go! Red! Tell it to go and not be replaced! Hey, up, Buttercup. What is it, Blue? Just checking in on the family. Lamb. How is everyone? See, no denial. Utterly abhorrent what you want. I just wanted to let you know that George doesn't have any clothes with her, so we'll have to see if the kids have got any spares when we get there. Okay, I'll see what I can do. See that? She's given up your clothes already. Oh, look, I can see your car. Okay, bye-bye. Mwah. And before she even knew what was going on, there lay her mother, dead before her, her blood staining her... I swear that man could not put up a tent properly to save his life. <laughs> oh, she's lively, isn't she? I can hear you, you know. I don't want to. I know when I'm not welcome. I'm not about to be in a second home where I'm not wanted. It's not like that. Red doesn't want me here. I'm only on this stupid trip because my parents forced him to bring me. Yeah, everyone always calls him a murder. You two, then. <laughs> I thought it was just my parents that did that.